I'm showing you how to use Runway Gen 3 to add AI visual effects to your videos. I've done a lot of testing with Gen 3 and you can create some pretty impressive effects with the image to video AI by using different prompts. So let's say we've got this video recording of someone walking and we want to add in some AI effects. The first thing we need to do is extract the image frames from it to put it into Runway. I'm going to use EasyGIF for this. It's a free website that lets you extract frames from videos. Inside the video to GIF tab, go to the video to JPG page. Then we'll upload our video recording. There's a few options to choose from for frame rate and resolution. And then just convert the video into image frames. When it's finished converting, we'll download the images. I've signed into Runway and I'm inside the Gen 3 video creation page. To add visual effects, I'll upload the last extracted image frame from the original video. There's this first and last option. First means Runway generates an AI video using this image as a first frame. And last means this image will be the final frame of the AI video. For now, let's leave this on at first. Using the prompt bar, we'll describe the visual effect we want. Since Runway's pretty good with animations of plants and flowers popping up, I'll use the woman's hair transforms into plants and vines as she walks. And let's go with a 5 second video. In the resulting video, plants and vines instantly sprout from her hair and cover most of her back. Now let's sync this AI generated video with the original video clip. I'll place them together into a video editor and slightly adjust the ends so that they smoothly transition into each other. Now that we've combined the videos, you can see that the transition is actually kind of obvious because the camera motion changes. At the beginning, in the original video clip, the camera sways a bit. But in the AI clip, it has a much more straightforward horizontal panning motion. So for the original video, you do want to make sure that it has a straightforward camera motion that's easy for the AI to replicate. As of recording this guide, Runway has a limitation in the resolution of images in that it has to be 1280 by 768. If you use a larger resolution image, it forces you to crop it. One way to deal with this is to crop the original video before extracting the image frames from it. I'm using one called Online Video Cutter. It lets you enter the exact resolution to crop the video to. So I'll put in the dimensions for Runway at 1280 by 768. And then we can drag this box around to decide which part of the video we want to keep. A cool feature Gen 3 has is that you can set the image reference as the last frame of the AI video. For example, I'll start with this photo of a woman that looks like she's holding some glowing lights in her hands. Let's set this as the last frame of the video and use a prompt like a huge flame shrinks into a woman's hands. In the generated video, it starts out with a large frame in her hands and over time shrinks into the glowing lights of the original image. Here's a couple fun effects that worked well for me. Floating objects and levitation did pretty good. I had to specifically prompt for the jeep to levitate upwards, otherwise it would drift around. Here, I used the image of the woman as the last frame, and you do notice how Runway likes to adding higher saturated colors at the beginning of the video. You are able to animate subjects appearing into still landscapes. I had this goblin take a look around the creek. For this river, I asked for a large scaly monster. I don't think the visual effect looks super realistic though. I could have prompted for the water to splash around some more. Here's a zombie appearing inside a trash bin. For some reason, Gen 3 is really good at animating plant effects. I saw a lot of these on their Twitter page. You can make plants appear on pretty much anything. General environmental effects also work, like a tsunami collapsing on a city. The key to prompting is describing what you want to happen like you're writing a script. The woman blows green smoke rings. It doesn't always get everything right. There aren't any smoke rings, just puffs of green smoke. The physics look really good though. Use key action words like transform, emerge, levitate, grows, explodes to get stronger visual effects. You can add transformations to your human subjects. Here, I asked for wings to emerge from the man's back. A problem with Runway is that it does take a lot of generations to get good clips. For the visual effects I showed in this video, they took me 60 generations, which can cost up to $30. I animated this woman holding up an umbrella while it's raining hamburgers. I did manage to get a decent looking clip, her hands do look kinda deformed. 
but it took me so many different tries with this prompt to get a video clip where the physics make sense and there isn't distortion or warping. Runway can do some really cool stuff, but be prepared to run your prompts a bunch of times to get the right videos. If you want to learn the basics of getting started with the Gen 3 platform, go watch this tutorial over here.